Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Elsa Luan. I make lots of food, fitness, encouraging, motivational kind of content. And so I'm super, super happy you're here. Thanks for clicking on today's video. I know it has been forever since I've posted. Today, I'm just excited to take you kind of just as a day in my life as a college student. I'm a communication major and I have a secondary major in violin performance. Could be a day vlog. This could be like a couple days. We're just see today I honestly I just have like a lot of violin practicing I've been doing homework this morning getting ready just kind of had a really chill morning Tuesdays today's Tuesday by the way it's a very like chill day I don't have to be anywhere until like 12 30 so I can do homework in my PJs and it's just like a really great time yeah thank you so much for just being here today and I hope that you always feel like very encouraged and just like very loved when you come to my platform my channel whatever it is I want you to know that God loves you so much but yeah before I forget make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you're new um, because I would love to have you be part of this positive uplifting community of people and yeah let's just head out I just be happy if I play the right pitches I'm normally okay. I just, it's, if it's relative, I can normally it. It's okay, we'll figure it out. Yeah. Seconds. <laughs> <laughs> That's a practice spot. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's like the thing where if you have time to look at it, you'll be good. It's if just you like, then you're not good. <laughs> no. Okay, goodbye for real. <laughs> We have made it to music school. Today's goal is going to be practicing orchestra music. I could practice solo music all day, every day, but orchestra music is not my jam, not my preferred thing. However, I really do love it once it all comes together. It's just the initial like practicing it that I don't really like. Well, my quartet got canceled because someone can't make it today. So we're gonna use this time to practice instead. All right, first up on the list to practice is the Wilton Viola Concerto. This section for the second violins, yikes, it's a little bit messy. Right now it's 3.15, I'm gonna head to the gym. Hopefully it's not too busy. Probably will be though because everyone's getting out of class. Oh my goodness, my arms are so sore. I did an upper body day yesterday. It was a very productive little violin time. So now it's time to go move our body and get some activity in for the day. today finished up with some calf raises which were like super burner but what got me really sweating was the stairmaster oh my goodness so i did about 10 minutes on that called my mom said hi and then just did like leg press and like different leg exercises anyway i'm gonna head back home shower get ready and kind of just like do homework I'll hop on that call that i was talking about earlier for sweaty like it's disgusting but you know that's not how you know you had a good workout because baby love got off the call it was super super great got to meet my personal trainer i was offered like a free month so talked with him seems like a really cool guy so we kind of set up like a little plan i talked about our faith and just like how we got to where we're at today should be like exciting new i was kind of like nervous i don't normally go for like one-on-one -on -one coaching and type of thing it's a cool opportunity why not take advantage of it and i would love to just like learn new moves to incorporate into my routine. I probably should go practice violin again. And then we're going to the little uh, recital tonight, which is going to be the wind ensemble. But they're always so, so good. And I know a lot of people in wind ensemble. And so it's just like fun to see your friends also like on stage performing. I think I have like two more minutes on my timer. So let's go check. Oh yeah, it's cooking, it's cooking. First night's dinner and I'm using this like yummy buffalo sauce. It's really good. Very like small amount of ingredients. Kind of spicy, which is really nice. Good morning guys. I woke up a little earlier. I've just been doing homework. 
work, just doing some poli-sci reading. And I also answered some business emails, some potential brand partnerships going on. I'm a bit more awake now. I was just doing some reading this morning. Really should have done more, but you know, I spent at least an hour on it. Today's outfit is just a little sweatshirt, black tank top, and then these cargo pants. I'm just gonna put some earrings in. I love listening to my Christian playlist like as I get ready or maybe even like a Christian podcast. It just kind of depends on what I'm feeling for the day. But today I was listening to a Christian song that was actually quite old. I think I mentioned this on one of my stories, asking God like give me eyes so I can see what I'm missing that's right in front of me. And I was just thinking, you know, we go through our days and we have no idea what someone's going through. We could be sitting next to someone in class, walking next to someone on the sidewalk, bumping into someone at work, whatever. Everybody has something they're going through. It just made me think about how like just a simple act of kindness can like brighten that person's day so much and can positively impact their life for forever. And that is so amazing. Every day is just like an opportunity to bless others. If you're feeling like nothing you do matters, trust me, it really does matter. And you never know how your presence in someone's life can make a difference. I've been trying to like be more intentional with people, you know, smile at them, be very present with people and not like on my phone, around campus anyway. People will literally bump into you because they're like this on their phone. And so anyway, that's just a little encouragement for the morning. I can't tell like if I should like keep the clips in or like go without. I feel like I'm just gonna go without, but the clips would be super cute sometime. I gotta get going. It is 9.55. So yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna go to class. It's kind of fun. I have like a few friends in the class, so we all sit together. We had our first exam on Monday and it was honestly a lot harder than I expected. There's always next time. All right, y'all, we're heading out. I'm a little late. All right, hello friends. We're back here from rehearsal. Yeah, it could have been better, but it was good overall. Back here for a Zoom class. It is cross-cultural communication. Yeah, I'm just eating lunch. I've got my character sheets I'm gonna work on during that class. Okay, don't mind the dirty shorts. Anyway, I'm gonna join the meeting right now. Zoom classes are like really interesting. I honestly didn't know this one was gonna be Zoom, but you know, it works out because then I can eat lunch. Otherwise I would just have, you know, back-to-back -back classes all day and I wouldn't get to eat lunch at all. I'm in the waiting room. I was just thinking, like do not let people's opinions of you dictate your life and I am literally saying that more for me than probably for you guys if people think you're some way if people are treating you badly think bad about you when you know that's not true like literally ignore it and I know that's easier said than done I've had to really test that skill that I have just in college because you know people hear things people say things people gossip and you know gossiping is something that like God says we're not to do if that's happening to you or if that has happened to you just keep obeying god just keep being the great person that you are your actions speak louder than anyone's words not that long ago i would have been so swayed by what people thought of me it would just destroy my day like if someone didn't like me i'd be like oh my gosh like what did i do and sometimes that's just how life is people aren't gonna like you all the time and being at peace with that fact it's hard but you just have to come to the realization that god's opinion is what matters not man's i hope that's encouraging for you okay this is weird. I'm in the waiting room. Okay, so it turns out class is canceled today, so no cross-cultural communication. I didn't get, speaking of communication, I did not get like the reminder that class is canceled. So yeah, that was on me. Thankfully I have a friend in the class, so I texted him and I was like, hey, are you still in the waiting room? Because I am. And he's like, oh, you didn't get the reminder. There's no class today, it was canceled. I was like, oh, <laughs> I feel so stupid. <laughs> from practicing i just whipped up some dinner i had to make a new batch of ground turkey peppers and spinach it looks like this anyway i'm gonna eat this and then i actually have small group tonight i started going to a small group um, through my church here in waco texas and yeah it's been really nice i've only been to one so far tonight will be the second night i'm going it seems like a really you know sweet group of girls anyway i just practiced violin and i went to chinese I and also I pinned up the bangs because it was so windy outside. My hair was literally just like in my face. I'm growing them out, you know, the bangs, they were a thing for a while. They were super cute, but I feel like I'm ready to just like have longer bangs. I'm gonna eat this 
and then I gotta leave probably in like 15 minutes. I hope you can see me, it's kinda dark. Oh my gosh, is this truck going to stop? Wow, he was really out of his lane. Anyway, I am coming back from small group. It was so good. We had like four girls, no, sorry, five girls total. We were in Romans 2 today and it was just really nice to get to talk and just like fellowship with other believers. Maybe this is your sign. Like if you've been thinking about like joining a small group or something, like do it. This is my second year of college. I'm finally getting to join a small group and yeah, it takes time and everything, but it's just so like rewarding having other believers like pour into you is like so so important all right y'all i quickly changed to some shorts i put some sweatpants over the top because it is really cold outside and very windy also i'm just gonna do a few upper body exercises i'm gonna try to be there and back in like an hour hour 15. i like worked out with my hair down once and it was actually kind of fun wearing the hair down with a little headband to keep the bangs out of my face All right, hello friends, happy Thursday. This morning, I've just been doing homework. I taught a violin lesson. Right now it's 12.15, I'm gonna eat some lunch now. Yeah, I just picked up the camera, so so sorry. Oh my gosh, another class got canceled. I promise y'all, it is not like this at all. My interpersonal got canceled because my poor professor, she's not feeling well. So hopefully she feels better soon. And then I have Chinese lab and then, you know, the chamber concert. And then I might go to another recital to get recital credit. So yeah, hope y'all are having a great day. I also did some Instagram content. Tuesday and Thursdays, I can like post more, get content prepped and ready to post um, on other days where I'm really busy in class. We've got some dates and butter. It's the best combo. It's like a sweet and salty type of thing. I saw this on one of my favorite health accounts. I'll link it here, Elevate Health. She's such a sweet girl. Makes her own sourdough bread. I would totally buy it if I could eat a wheat. This is courtesy of Ella. Y'all, it is so cold and wet and rainy walking to my chamber concert. We got done with language lab for Chinese. It is very cold. I hope I can warm up before we perform. All right, good morning y'all, happy Friday. Oh my goodness, the sun is out, I am so happy right now. And tomorrow I leave for spring break. Last night was so fun, I know I did not vlog a whole lot, I was really tired. I ended up staying up till like 1.30. That was because of homework and other things, but the chamber concert went really well, our group did so well, and it was just really fun to play together. The collegiate day of prayer was also going on in Waco Hall. So there were like tons of people, the huge crowds, and so I was like warming up outside in the lobby and there's just like crowds of people, but it's so loud, so like no one can really notice that you're playing. Also, I wanted to show y'all my hair this morning. I actually put like a little effort in. I got these like little flower clips. The teal one is from the brand MEJ and then the other one is a knockoff like Amazon dupe. It actually is like very similar. Anyway, I just did these two. I don't know if it looks okay, but we don't really have time to fix it. All right, let's go because I actually can't be late. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just touching a little bit on my Sibelius because I have a violin lesson later today, which is literally always the highlight of my week. I'm gonna play like the cadenza part that I really like. <laughs> I'm back from Chinese and I also did my violin lesson. Okay, right now it's about five o'clock. Anyway, I wanted to say my violin teacher, she's the sweetest thing ever. Professor Shi, if you're watching this, I love you so much. Um, but she gave me 
some farm fresh eggs like she got from somebody and she got like four dozen so she gave me one anyway that was really sweet of her on the way to mccurry from chinese i ran into my friend david shout out david if you're watching it's fun to see him i like never see him though and i saw my friend alex in the practice room before going into my lesson right now i'm gonna make dinner really quick and then we've got to head out to my friend's recital her senior recital so sad she's not gonna be with us at baylor anymore we love our concert master very much anyway i'm going to to cook up some chicken for dinner and just kind of start packing for my flight home. Sweet nostalgia 